looking good over there. <laughs> I mean, I have seen crazy shows where that didn't happen. I've been to thousands of shows all over the country, and um, especially rock shows, and I've seen all kinds of weird stuff, but they don't always, it, it can get dangerous. That's another thing I do like about traveling, because it opens your mind. I feel like if someone stays in the same state their whole entire life, like, when someone's like, yeah, I've just never left, I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, like, I'm, in, I'm definitely into space and the universe, for sure. So right here, I'm at the Art District with a very talented Chrissy Lee. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> All right, so you're a local artist here in Las Vegas, yeah. right? Originally from Salt Lake City. Correct. So what's the difference between Salt Lake City and Las Vegas' art scene? Salt Lake City's art scene is super dead, and I felt like I was not expecting enough, and so I came here because I felt like there was a lot more art opportunities here than there. Um, for instance, like, because I do a lot of murals with recycled propaganda, and um, out there you had to get a lot of permissions to get murals done, and, and they were very picky. Um, it, it couldn't be, like, sexual or offensive, and I feel like out here you have a lot more freedom. To do art and actually make it successful um, and make a living out of it is when I started doing it nice. with, with Isaac, so he's been my mentor. Okay. Yeah. So what, uh, what got you started in art? What inspires you? I, I was lucky enough, when I was in junior high and high school, I, had, I still had art class. So I did art there, and um, I would paint really beautiful stuff. I started actually learning about Hieronymus Botch, who was an artist in the, um, I believe it was like the, the 15th to 14th century. It was during the medieval times. Okay. So I studied him in art class, and his art was really cool and really amazing. And then that uh, showed me more like Dolly, Salvador Dolly. Then I started getting into you know all of that, and that was in junior high. So I, and my mom used to frame a lot of my pieces. She always loved my artwork and I was always like, this is just something I did in school, but she always just loved it. And so I just continued to do it throughout the years. I did have a little break um, for a while there, but I was doing like music and photography instead for, for some years, but then I got back into art. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right, so if you haven't seen her shop, of course the links will be in the description. You can check it out. I got some ma masks recently, which was pretty cool. Fit perfect. Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> so, so who would you say your your favorite rock bands are, or just favorite musicians or uh, groups? And, and Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails, 100, percent is one of my number one favorite okay. um, art artists, musicians. Like his stuff is amazing, and he also helped correlate a lot of other bands like Marilyn Manson, and he had his record, the record label Nothing Records, and stuff like that. So. Um, also a perfect circle, the um, main, like, uh, Billy Howardell, he's basically, everyone kind of thinks it's Maynard's band, but it's kind of Billy's band, but it's both their bands, but um, Billy actually was uh, Trent Reznor's guitar tech for a while before he kind of started a perfect circle, so it all just kind of, you know, I like Trent, we have to give a lot of love to him because he has like his hands in a lot of stuff, and I love the stuff that he's been doing with um, Atticus Ross with all the... Um, music for movies and stuff, soundtracks and stuff. Uh, you know, I've traveled a lot all over the whole world and that's kind of what I've been, uh, I lived in Italy, I've been, I've been to Mexico, so I've traveled and seen a lot of cultures. I used to live in Richmond and Norfolk, Virginia for four years, which is uh, predominantly majority black. And so I just love culture. I right. love culture. That's another reason why I like Vegas. There's a lot of culture here. Right. Yeah. And I like that. Is, is there anything like you Like when don't I was like? in Utah, I was so white. Okay. And so it, that was hard for me because I would feel like I was missing something. I'm like, oh, I, it's not, I feel like it's a lot more fun to be in a place where there's just culture. Right. Um, but, 
yeah, traveling is definitely what's made me who I am. Um, I like learning. I like uh, like education. So a textbook, but mostly haircutting. So I went into hair school about six years ago at Paul Mitchell, and I learned from some of the best people in the industry, DJ Muldoon, Ira Pope Sage, Amber, um, there's so many people and I owe a lot to them because like now I love teaching like hair and I'd like to get more into that. As far as art goes, um, I knew Isaac for many, many years uh, via social media and then when I finally moved to Las Vegas, I just kept bugging him and bugging him and I'm like, please mentor me, like I don't care, like I, it doesn't matter to me like I don't, I'm not expecting payment or anything like that I just want to do this and so that's starting to shape me into more of a disciplined person because you think art is just like such a free thing I'm kind of looking at it as more of a discipline so I'm trying to kind of create uh, I want to be more of an entrepreneur again so that's sort of what I'm doing right now it's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, so traveling just definitely opened your eyes a little bit to different people and different things, how the world could be different. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think that I would be um, the person that I am today and be so open-minded and have such a creative outlook. And also, I do a lot of tarot, so I'm really spiritually connected to the frequency and the divine intuity of, like, the whole system of reality. And so... I think a lot of that really helped shape me into like having that type of a mindset and like an open mind and stuff. You like food? I do. I love food. I'm love a food? Taurus, so yeah. we're foodies. Foodies? Yeah. I had a, a really hard breakup last year and I wasn't eating a lot and now I'm finally like just pigging out and it's wonderful. Um, right. Yeah. So, I am vegetarian though, so that's, okay, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, <laughs> it's been almost three years, so I'm trying to. Vegan is so hard. I'd right. love to, but it's very hard. But, um, yeah, so I'm just, I've been trying out a lot of the good vegetarian restaurants that are around, and vegan restaurants in Vegas, there's a lot. Yeah, I've been to uh, Veggie Nation. Yeah, yeah. Veggie Nation. Veggie Nation. Tacotarian right here is really good. Is that a messy restaurant right here in the corner? Uh-huh, and yeah. then there's okay. Cafe Nofer. I'm not sure where that is because I door dashed that, but it was delicious. I believe that's like closer to Chinatown, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it actually is in Chinatown, basically, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's right on that spring. Yeah, I've always uh, wanted to try that spot too. And then I, I walked by this one then last week. I had a vegan burger with the fries. And it was good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, have you always been like vegetarian, or? Um, off and on throughout my life. Yeah. Um, I started getting into it actually when I was around 13 or 14 years old because I started reading these books by Daniel Quinn, um, Ishmael, My Ishmael and the Story of Bee, like in like 1995, and it's highly about becoming vegan and vegetarian. And I started getting into that at 13. 14 years old. Nice. Yeah. So it's kind of a, it's a lifestyle thing. It's like a, you know, it's like not, it's like choosing not to smoke cigarettes or choosing not to right. drink. It's kind of like that. It's like, you, it's a promise you make to yourself and you stay dedicated. Right. Yeah. So it's tough. Yeah. It takes work. It does. It's an everyday process. It's, I believe it's healthier too, as far as, you know, for the body. Yeah. You know, meat just smells gross to me now, kind of some, sometimes. Yeah. I'm still cool with preparing it. I actually used to date a guy that uh, used to be a chef, and he taught me how to cook meat really well and how to marinate it and I'd massage it and really actually, like, you know, take care of it and make it yummy. Yeah. <laughs> so I know how to actually prepare really good meat, and I'm still fine with preparing it. I just don't eat it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> but I'm just really hoping um, that something beautiful comes out of the experience that I'm having here with like Isaac at, at the gallery and with all my friends that are in the arts district here in Vegas. Like, I just want something beautiful to happen out of all of this. Like for for me and for everybody involved. I feel like we work really hard. And right. Well, you're always posting stuff on Instagram. Like, always doing different paintings and murals around. And murals. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, I just did a big one. Yeah. I just saw your update, but someone posted that yesterday on their, their story. I was like, where's that, where's that from? Or where's that at? Yeah, and then it's I, just down the, it's on Imperial in Maine. Okay, yeah. walking distance? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could walk down there. Yeah. It's like one more block, it's like the next, you go past that light and then the next one down, it's almost to the next light. Oh, I'll have to go check it out. Yeah, you should. Yeah. It's cool. It's that welcome all yeah. like, beliefs and sizes and religions and everything. Yeah. yeah. That's cool, because since someone else posted it, I'm like, wait a second, that's the one she was working on, because you posted a picture of you painting. That's I've like, been slacking on the social media. I've been, I have so many pages that and I have a YouTube channel too, and so yeah. um, I've, I'm a couple days behind on me on my posting. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you post on YouTube? Tarot. Okay. I read tarot cards, yeah. And I want to start doing. I'm studying astrology, but that's it's a lot of study. Right. So, um, but yeah, I'm trying to get into that more. But I do. That's what people like to watch me do on YouTube <laughs> is read tarot cards. Cool. 
So that's pretty much it with Christy Lee. Uh, she does have some artwork I will display later on. And uh, yeah, all the links will be down below as far as her YouTube channel, Instagram, even the shop where you can pick up some products. Anything you want to say before we, we take off? Please like and subscribe to his channel. Awesome person right here. All right, guys. Bye.